Hey guys, so I wanted to address something with you. I mentioned a while back that Ethan was having some speech delays and um, that he was getting speech therapy and I wanted to talk to you about this a little bit, especially if you're going through something similar. I want you to know that there is hope and show you some of the things that we do to help Ethan along the way. And um, I was actually inspired to make this video by watching another YouTuber named Elle Lindquist. She mentioned in her recent video that her son was also going through something similar and that she was worried about it and that she was waiting to see how it was taken care of. So I thought I'd make this video for her and for you guys to let you know what's going on as far as our experience with that. So Ethan is little more than two and a half years old. He has very little speech and he has been getting speech therapy since before he was two. So he's been at it for a while. He started out at two times a week, 45 minutes each. Now he's at three times a week, 45 minutes each. And he is making progress, but very slow progress. At this point, he says very few words. It's mama, dad, dad, baba. He tries to say his brother's names for Logan. He says Lolo. For Lucas, he says Lulu. Brayden, we're trying to teach him Bubba because the BR combination is very hard, but he is he is interested in trying to talk. He's just having some trouble getting it to work. So as part of this, we've started incorporating sign language for him. Very, very simple sign language and only the things really that make a difference um, for him, such as if he needs something specific. So for like milk, we'll have him sign milk. For food or eating, he'll sign eat. And we try to use the sounds with the signs to try to encourage the speech. For my four children, they've all had speech delays and they all needed therapy. But he's a little more delayed and having more trouble than my other children did. Where for them, by two and a half, they were already using enough words to let us know what they needed. Where Ethan still can't really do that. His teacher is concerned that he may have something called apraxia, which is where the brain and the mouth don't really connect. He knows what he wants to say, he just can't get his mouth to form the words. And that's something that's relatively temporary. With time, it will be corrected. It just takes much longer and a lot more work. But they can't diagnose that officially until he's over three. So we just kind of keep that in the back of our mind and we work with him. Some of the things that we do to help him along is we don't expect him to say full words. We take sound, I guess you call it sound approximations, where from when he wants to say me, he can't say me. The combination of the M and the E is too much for him. So he'll say E and that's enough. That's okay. Um, even his name, Ethan, he says E, uh. We know what he means. We know he's trying to say Ethan and we accept that. We still model words correctly so he knows what they are and he knows how to try to say them, but we also accept what he's capable of saying. So let me see if I can give you some examples of what he does. Let's see if he cooperates. Can you say mama? Mama. Can you say dada? Dada. -da. What about Logan? Lolo. Lolo. And Lucas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you do bye bye? Bye bye. Show me, say bye bye. Bye bye. We use visual cues like tapping his lips. Can you say no? Oh. Oh, so he can't say N O, but he says O oh, and he shakes his head. And for water, he says wah wah, because water is too much for wah, him to do. Wah wah, good job. Can you show everybody drink? Mm. Drink. Now there are some kids who have speech delays because maybe they have learning disabilities or they have some cognitive delays and that's that's fine. They would know, The professionals know how to work with that. For me, my kids, they don't have learning delays. They actually test very high with their cognitive skills. So they're very smart but their speech is lacking. It doesn't mean they're not smart. It just means they need a little bit of help in this area. Um, in my experience, I've learned that kids are either physical or they're verbal. And for my kids, they were always physical first and the verbal came along after. And um, this is definitely the case for Ethan. He's extremely physical and uh, he's still, we're still working on the speech. But the important thing is if you suspect that your child has a speech delay or that they're struggling, um, then you definitely you talk to your pediatrician. They'll tell you if it's within normal limits or, or if you should pursue therapy for your child. And they do a great job. All the therapists that I've had have been excellent. And like I said, we are making progress, uh, but slow progress. It's still better than nothing. And yeah, I expect that he'll be speaking eventually. He definitely wants to. For Ethan especially, 
considering how little speech he has, he's extremely expressive. Very big on facial expressions, but he, very big on gestures. Like he makes it clear what he needs or that he needs something. He just can't always express exactly what that is. It's up to us to figure that out and anticipate what he needs and not just jump to it. I try to make him get it out one way or the other, whether it's through signs or attempted speech. Um, or if I really can't figure it out, I'll say to him, show me. Cause he gets very frustrated because he knows what he wants. He knows what he wants to say, but he can't say it. So he gets very frustrated. There's a lot of tantrums. There's a lot of hitting uh, on his part. He hits me, I don't hit him. <laughs> and you know, we correct that, but we also understand that he's just angry. He's frustrated and he doesn't know what to do. Kids don't know how to control their emotions. So we do the best we can to make it easy for him to express his needs. What are you doing? And to try to work with him on that. What? What's the matter? You want the computer? Buddy, you can't have the computer. We gotta go get your brothers from school. You wanna go get them from school? What, say yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Who are we going to get? Who's at school? No, not you. Logan. And Lucas. Lucas? Mm. No? What about Brayden? Mm. No? Mm. You want to go watch TV before we have to go? Mm. Do you need something? Mm. No? Lolo. Logan? I know, Lolo. All right, buddy, you go watch TV, okay? And there's a lot of yes and no questions because he can say yes or no in his own way. There's a lot of yes and no, and so I have to be able to anticipate what he may need and work with that. But we make it work, we do the best we can, and he's come a long way, he still has a long way to go, but if your child has speech delays, don't get discouraged. Just work with it the best you can, and they'll come around, you know? And if they don't, then there are other methods. Like I said, we noticed that he was getting very frustrated and he wasn't making much prog progress with his speech, so we started incorporating sign language, and that did help his frustration a bit because he could express himself at least a little bit. And you know, we'd know if he wanted water or if he wanted a toy or, or something like that. So that's it for this video. I gotta go run and pick up my other kids from school, but I hope you found this helpful and please hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. You say bye bye. Uh -uh. Say bye bye. Uh uh. No, bye bye. Bye bye. Uh uh. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good job. Uh -uh.